you know, physicists are famous for being able to do, well, at least some physicists, um, back of the envelope calculations. Uh, the most famous one is Enrico Fermi, who, you know, used to be able to, I guess, deduce everything just uh, with a, a paper and pencil. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, once you acquired this skill, it's um, impossible not to do it. People are sometimes telling me stories and I'm, you know, kind of silently uh, processing the numbers in my head to make sure that it makes sense. You don't have to get um, the exact answer, but, you know, if, if your answer is wrong by a few orders of magnitude, then there's something wrong either with your assumptions, the assumptions of the other person, um, or you know, with the with the problem uh, uh, inherently. So um, this problem says, estimate the number of man hours required for building the Great Wall of China, and that's all the information that it gives. So you know, I always uh, enjoy a problem like this. So. Uh, this was my line of reasoning. Um, I started estimating the volume of the Great Wall. So I said, well, you know, China is about the same size as the US. So, it, you know, the Great Wall probably is similar to um, one of the borders of the US. So I think the US-Mexico border, border is um, 1500 or about, you know, 1500 uh, kilometers. Um, so this is 1500 times 10 to the three meters. And then just from, uh, I've never been to China, but from pictures that I've seen of the Great Wall, uh, it seems like perhaps the height is 20 meters and the width is 30 meters. All right, so then this one will be 600, right? So six times 10 uh, to the two meters squared. And this one we can rewrite it as 1.5 times 10 to the six meters, right? So if we multiply these two, we get nine times 10 to the eight meters cubed. So, you know, volume of the Great Wall of China, um, it's about nine times 10 to the eight um, cubic meters. And then I thought about how many um, blocks of stone will be needed to build the Great Wall. So, you know, if, um, I thought that maybe, um, you know, a, a stone that is one cubic meter is probably too big to carry around, right? So it's like, okay, maybe you can split it in eight. So it will be um, half a meter uh, times half a meter times half a meter, right? So still pretty heavy, but manageable. So um, then if you wanna know the number of bricks, it will be approximately you know, nine times 10 to the eight cubic meters and eight bricks um, per cubic meter. Right, so you cancel out the cubic meters and this will give you number of bricks approximately 70, 72 times 10 to the eight, uh, which is equal to 7.9, I mean 7.2 times 10 to the nine bricks. So the next step is to estimate how long it will take uh, you know, in, in man 
man seconds, let's say, or man minutes, to uh, install that, uh, lay down the the uh, the brick. So I was thinking that you know these are pretty heavy. Um, you know they're going to be nearby, but not over there. Maybe they have to walk a little bit. Um, you know, hopefully they already have you know whatever they're going to use to uh, to glue together uh, the bricks. It's already made. So I was thinking it will take maybe five minutes um, for two people to uh, lay down and um, uh, lay, lay down the brick. So, and we can go, uh, this is number of bricks. So 7.2 times 10 to the nine bricks. And it's going to take 600 seconds. Uh, these, these are not regular seconds, these are man seconds per brick. So what goes in here is 300 seconds uh, times two men or women, of course. So this gives you the uh, 600 man seconds. So we get rid of the bricks, you know, they cancel each other out. And this will give you, uh, how much is that? So um, it's 43.2. Six times seven, 42, and then uh, plus 1.2, 43.2. Um, and then you add, this one is six times 10 to the Two, so we put it over here, right? Forty-three point two uh, times ten to the eleven man seconds. So this will be four point three times ten to the twelve man seconds, and we want the answer in man hours. So we have to divide this one by, um, well, let me rewrite it over here more compactly. So we have, we need seconds down here. 3,600 seconds in one hour, right? So we can get rid of the seconds. Um, 4.3 divided by 3.6 is about one, um, 1.2, a little bit over, it's about 1.2. So 1.2 times 10 to the nine. Um, well, I'm gonna put it down here. man hours. Uh, I guess this is not the total time, this is the building time. And so the answer says um, that it will be 10 to the 10 man hours. So, one order of magnitude more. So this is just a building time, uh, but it probably, you know, it is it is probably 10% or so, you know, a tenth uh, of the total time that is required because you have to, um, you know, get these rocks out of some mountain, shape them, uh, transport them, uh, you know, pr prepare uh, uh, whatever material you're gonna use uh, to um, glue the the blocks together, so you know I, I think it's pretty reasonable that it's going to take uh, ten to the ten 
uh, man hours. So one one more order of magnitude uh, to build the the Great Wall of China. So you know why will this work? Well, if you start with reasonable assumptions, then uh, the errors uh, of your assumptions are going to be distributed um, you know, kind of evenly. Sometimes you're going to underestimate by a little bit. Sometimes you're going to overestimate by a little bit. Um, so then I checked the actual dimensions of the Great Wall of China. And it is actually much longer. It is, um, where did I write it down? It's about uh, 20,000 kilometers. So really it's about, um, will be 20 times 10 to the three meters. So two times 10 to the four. But it is not as, as wide uh, and, and tall as I thought. So uh, I guess some typical dimension. Let me find out what did I write it down. Um, oh, it's about six meters and six meters. Right. So um, my assumption here was off. Uh, I guess was uh, I overestimated the width and um, the height by about an order of magnitude, but I underestimated the length by about an order of magnitude. So I ended up with pretty much the same number. Um, so if you use these numbers, you get uh, seven times ten to the eighth uh, meters cube, which is you know pretty similar to the to the nine. Um, over here, well, I guess this is a little bit more. Um, I mean, you you can probably start a study, you know, to see how long people take to build um, this kind of of, uh, uh, of structures. Um, but you know, it will depend on whether you have trained your your workforce, you know, things like that. I think this is a reasonable assumption. Uh, some people might be able to do it faster. Maybe some people take a little longer. So you know, this is probably um, the correct amount of man hours, uh, the correct order of magnitude um, that it took to to build the Great Wall uh, of China. You know, another interesting extension to this problem will be how much it costs to do this, right? Um, you know, uh, unfortunately, it was probably close to slave labor. So maybe most of the costs were, you know, in um, transportation and things like that. But you know, still, um, interesting to see how um, the emperor or whatever will have been able to to pull this off. Um, also, I think this took you know, many generations, so maybe it was not that much effort, you know, in a particular um, year. So, anyways, um, I hope that you enjoyed this and. Um, you know, hopefully I will get you uh, hooked you up in this kind of uh, of problems. Thank you.